Hello friends, this is Samuel from Smart Graphics. Welcome back to another interesting tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design this new month flyer in Photoshop. It is a design that I did for an oil and gas company and I'm going to be showing you step by step how I was able to achieve it. If this sounds like what you like, make sure you like this video, you subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell notification icon so that YouTube notifies you whenever I post videos and then you can also leave a comment if you have any. All right, let's get into it. Okay, here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we are going to do is to create our canvas. We can start by either coming to new file or click Ctrl N on our keyboard, Command N for Mac users. And we are using the Instagram portrait size, which is the 1080 by 1350. The resolution is 300, uh, color mode RGB, and the background, of course, white. And then we click Create. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is to create a solid color. All the resources that are used in this tutorial will be in the description. You can check it there. So we're creating a solid color. Just click OK. Then come to the resources. The color code for everything that will be used is already linked in the resources in the description. So come to this background color code and copy it. Copy. Come into Photoshop. Double click here and paste it. Click OK. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a white and blue gradient. Come to where you have your layer mask here. Click on it. Activate your brush tool by clicking on B on your keyboard. Make sure your opacity is set to 100 and your flow is set to 100. And then your foreground or your background is set to black and white. If it's not set to black and white, ensure to click D on your keyboard to set it to black and white. And you can use the letter X to toggle between black and white. So we will have our black on the background and the white on the foreground. Increase your brush size with your corner brackets on your keyboard. And then just click right here to create this fill. Then the next thing we're bringing in is this image right here that we're going to be using to spice up the background a little bit. So we change it to overlay, then create a clipping mask with your brush tool selected, reduce the size a little bit, your flow and opacity set to 100, and just fade it a little bit right here. You can increase the size of the image just a bit more. All right, we're going to be bringing in this PNG image to spice up the background a little bit and we will drop the opacity just about to 20 something percent. I think this looks good. Let's drop it a little bit more. Yes, and this is fine. So this is our background. Now what we are going to be doing is we will unlock this background here Click on Shift at the top of the layer to select all and then group it, Ctrl G or Command G for Mac users. Double click here and rename it BG. We always want to be arranged. Lock the background so that everything that we'll be bringing in will not affect it. Then come here and bring in the main subject. The original image will be in the, in the resources, but I already helped you to cut out the subject from the background for those who may have issues doing that so adjust it just this way fit it to be in the middle of your canvas somewhere around here is fine okay the next thing we'll be doing is we're going to be creating a gradient color on the shoe and the hard hat to make it blend with the background so we come here and create a gradient map Click this button to, to create a clipping mask on it. What we're going to be doing is to also copy color codes from it. So you are coming down to where you have image gradient color code. Copy this color code. Come to Photoshop. 
and paste it right here Control a paste it right here go to the second one copy the second color code come to Photoshop and paste it right here and then click OK you can play around with the options of the reverse to see which one works best but I think it looks okay like this then you come to the blend mode and change it to soft light yeah and you can also reduce the opacity a little bit here is what we have before and here is what we have now all right the next thing we will do right here is to create a shadow under the shoe we are going to come right here and create a new layer then bring this all the way down under the shoe then activate your brush tool by clicking b reduce the size a bit and make sure the foreground is set to black i told you the other time reset it by pressing the letter d on your keyboard then right click and adjust your brush option like this then you come under here and paste oh make sure you let it look like the shoe is sitting on a surface you can always adjust the brush option to fit it and i think this is just about okay you can always make sure you adjust it as you want but for the sake of this tutorial we will not waste time on that we just want to create the effect of the shadow and that is it so we'll click on all the layers of the shoe ctrl or command g and then name it to subjects then lock it also then what we're going to be doing next now is to create a text layer in the middle of the background and the subject where it's at the back of the subject and on top of the background click t on the keyboard to activate your text layer and then click once and then just write match come to your properties and choose the font single sans i'm going to leave this font in the description for you also then you can adjust the tracking on the text minus 40 seem to be okay let's increase the size a bit we'll be adding a gradient overlay on the font so double click here and go to gradient overlay so the color code for this gradient overlay is also here just come to where you have text gradient color codes copy it and you know paste it on each of these handles here and you should have something like this okay having done that hold ctrl or command on your keyboard for mac users ctrl shift or command shift then click on this side and drag it up like this just to create this skill effect bring it down then the next thing is to add another text layer on top where we write welcome to Ctrl A or Command A, then click on this middle one to align it. Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Then you can change it to whatever color you have. If you discover that when you are trying to pick a color like this and you are seeing this circle, just know that it's because your caps lock is turned on. So you turn off your caps lock and you should have this back again so i'm just gonna pick a color something similar i think that should be about fine yeah adjust this once more ok 
Okay. So the next thing I will be adding is this lens flare here. I will put it just somewhere by the side here and change the blend mode to screen. You can always adjust the size to give it that nice feel. And I would always advise that every time you put flares like this on your work, always lock it so that it does not interfere. I would like to adjust it a bit to like this. Okay. And I think that's fine. And then I lock it. So the next thing we'll be doing now is to stand visible this layer just to add a little bit of effect to the overall design. To stand visible, we are going to be pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E on our keyboard. For Mac users, you press Command Option Shift E. Right click and convert to Smart Objects, come to Filter, add a Camera Raw Filter. To come under Effects and then just add just about a little portion. Minus 13 is OK. Click OK on your keyboard. You can see the before and you can see the after and we have it right there the next thing that we'll be doing is to write our texts i believe that's something that you can all do so i'm going to fast forward the text writing in this video you can pick the Greetings right here. It is in the description. You can add it. And the text that I use right here is Montserrat, the popular Montserrat. So the next thing that we're going to be doing right here is to add another color grading on top of it. And what do I mean by that? Just come down to this place and click, click new layer. Press your brush tool and then select your soft round brush. If you press your brush tool and you are seeing this plus sign is because your caps lock is turned on turn it off and then you see the brush tool all over again so by picking another color code just come to where you have color grade and then copy the code that is there and then paste it where you have your foreground and your background just click there and paste it once now you have the color there increase your brush size and then just click once right here then come to your blend mode and change it to screen the last thing that we will do right here is to bring in this confetti and then to just put it somewhere on top like this i would always advise that when you use confetti you use it very moderately as you can see the confetti is all over the place and to me it does not look ideal what i do is add a layer max right here click on your brush tool reduce the size right click and increase the hardness and then just brush out some part of it make sure that your foreground is set to black brush out the part of it that you do not want to be there Here is what we have now. Thank you for sticking till the end of this video. I'm sure you're able to learn one or two tips and techniques in Photoshop. If this sounds like something you want me to continue to do, encourage me by smashing that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question, do leave a comment in the section and I will attend to it as soon as I can. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.